Hidden Gold, Secrets Buried Beneath the Rocks Introduction Gold has captivated the human imagination for millennia, not merely because of its aesthetic brilliance or economic value, but due to the mystery surrounding its origins and its elusive presence beneath our feet. While the allure of gold has often been associated with shimmering nuggets in riverbeds or treasure hidden in remote mountains, the true story of gold is far more complex, and far more fascinating, than any legend or folklore. This video takes you on a journey through deep geological time and process. We will explore how gold forms, the environments in which it accumulates, and why much of it remains hidden in the Earth's crust. The aim is to shift your perspective, to understand gold not as a rare surface occurrence, but as the result of immense planetary forces that act across billions of years. Whether you are an aspiring geologist, an experienced field mapper, or simply someone fascinated by Earth's deeper secrets, this exploration will equip you with a clearer picture of how to recognize potential gold-bearing environments, and why the richest deposits are often the most geologically well-hidden. The Origins of Gold, Cosmic and Terrestrial Sources The story of gold does not begin on Earth, it begins in the stars. Modern astrophysics suggests that most of the gold found on our planet was forged during cataclysmic events like neutron star collisions, where extreme temperatures and pressures allowed heavier elements like gold to form through a process called rapid neutron capture, or R process nucleosynthesis. These gold particles were then scattered across space and eventually incorporated into the young Earth during the planetary accretion phase. However, while gold arrived with the primordial material that formed our planet, its economic concentrations developed much later, through internal Earth processes. As the planet differentiated into core, mantle, and crust, gold, being a siderophile element, should have migrated to the core. And yet, some of it remained within the mantle and crust, becoming accessible only through specific tectonic and magmatic conditions. Over the last three billion years, it is primarily hydrothermal processes that have been responsible for transporting and concentrating gold into ore grade deposits. This often occurs in orogenic settings, where compressional tectonics, fluid circulation, and metamorphism create the perfect conditions for mineral deposition. Geological Settings Where Gold Hides If gold could be found anywhere, it wouldn't be valuable. But nature tends to favor specific geological conditions, and gold deposits overwhelmingly occur within a small range of rock types and structural environments. Understanding these conditions is key to uncovering, invisible, or hidden gold. One of the most important geological environments is the greenstone belt, which consists of ancient volcanic sedimentary sequences, often metamorphosed and folded into complex structures. These belts, found predominantly in Archean cratons, are hosts to some of the richest load gold deposits in the world. The Abitibi Greenstone Belt in Canada, the Yilgarn Craton in Western Australia, and the Barberton Belt in South Africa are all classic examples. In such settings, gold is typically deposited in quartz carbonate veins formed by hydrothermal fluids migrating along deep crustal faults. These faults and shear zones act as fluid pathways, allowing mineral-rich solutions to deposit gold in favorable pressure temperature zones. The resulting ore bodies may be narrow but can extend for kilometers at depth, often associated with iron-rich host rocks such as basalt, ultramafic comodiites, or BIFs, banded iron formations. Another key indicator of hidden gold is structural deformation. Zones of shearing, folding, and brecciation create increased rock permeability, which allows gold-bearing fluids to infiltrate and precipitate mineralization. The intersections of faults, splays, and lithologic boundaries often become the focal points for mineral deposition, especially when combined with favorable alteration minerals such as sericite, chlorite, and carbonate. Placer gold, secondary concentration through weathering and transport. While primary or load gold remains buried within rock formations, Placer gold represents a secondary concentration, one that is far more visible and historically more accessible to early prospectors. Through long-term processes of weathering, erosion, and sediment transport, gold liberated from primary sources is carried into rivers and streams, where it eventually settles due to its high density. However, finding placer gold is not just a matter of panning a few stream beds. 
understanding fluvial geomorphology is critical. Gold tends to accumulate in specific river environments where velocity decreases, such as inside bends, behind obstructions, and at the base of waterfalls or riffles. Fine gold may settle in black sand deposits, while coarse flakes and nuggets lodge within cracks in exposed bedrock. Experienced prospectors often look for ancient river channels, called paleoplacers, which may now lie buried beneath alluvium or even solid rock. Such deposits were the target of major gold rushes in the 19th century, including the famous Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa, which contains the world's largest gold reserves, formed from conglomerates in a 2.8 billion year old fluvial system. Recognizing the signs of hidden gold in the field. The field geologists' challenge lies in recognizing subtle surface indicators that suggest deeper mineralization. These indicators are not always dramatic, more often, they are slight alterations in rock color, texture, and chemistry. One common sign is the presence of quartz veins, particularly when they show banding, open space textures, or sulfide mineral inclusions. Gold is often associated with pyrite, chalcopyrite, galena, and arsenopyrite, minerals that can act as pathfinders when sampling or mapping. Alteration halos are another key indicator. Hydrothermal alteration zones often exhibit silicification, hard, glassy rock, sericitization, soft, mica-rich rock, and iron oxidation, reddish staining from oxidized sulfides. The spatial pattern of these alterations relative to faults and lithology can help triangulate possible ore zones. In volcanic terrains, the presence of epithermal vein systems, especially low sulfidation types, can suggest gold mineralization at relatively shallow depths. Look for banded veins, coliform textures, and breccia cemented with quartz and agillaria. These systems are often overlooked but can be highly profitable if properly understood. From traditional prospecting to modern exploration technologies. Modern gold exploration no longer relies solely on boots, hammers, and field notebooks. Today, the integration of geophysics, geochemistry, and remote sensing has revolutionized the way geologists approach mineral exploration. Airborne magnetics and resistivity surveys can identify buried structures and intrusive bodies, hyperspectral imaging can map alteration zones, and portable XRF analyzers in the field can give near-instant readouts on trace element content in rocks and soils. Yet despite these tools, the core principles remain unchanged, understanding the structural geology, the host lithologies, and the fluid pathways that control gold deposition. Core drilling, trenching, and detailed mapping remain essential parts of the exploration pipeline. Geologists today work not just to discover gold, but to understand the geological story it tells. Because behind every deposit lies a unique history of plate collisions, magmatic activity, and deep earth fluid flow. Conclusion The idea of hidden gold is more than just a metaphor. It reflects the geological reality that the richest deposits are rarely visible from the surface, and that true discovery comes not from luck, but from knowledge, of the rocks, the structures, the chemistry, and the timeframes involved. Gold is a witness to Earth's deepest processes and longest timescales. It resides in faults formed by tectonic collisions, in veins crystallized from superheated fluids, and in sedimentary basins that once flowed with ancient rivers. Each deposit is a testament to Earth's dynamic interior and a reward for those who take the time to read its clues. If you found this journey through Earth's geological gold story valuable, take a moment to subscribe to the Professional Geology Club channel, where we dig deeper into Earth's hidden processes and reveal the science behind the stones. Share this video with fellow geologists, students, or curious explorers, and let's continue to build a community where geological knowledge is shared, explored, and celebrated. Stay grounded. Stay curious. And always follow the layers, because that's where the gold lies.